dun dun. It's good to hear that theme song back so much. <laughs> Star Wars. Hey guys, this is my review for the first four episodes of Mandalorian Season 2. I'm really slow to catch up, and the first episode, after finishing it, I was like, maybe I'll review it, but I'll just watch the second one just to be sure. And then before I knew it, I was at the end of the fourth episode. So I'm just going to do the first four. So far, this season's production value somehow got even better than the first one. It's quite amazing to see a television show... <laughs> Just have more Star Wars flavor, appeal, and obvious love for the genre that it is in than the big high budget movies that Disney produced, at least in the last two. So it's kind of surprising just to see how fun this is. It really kind of takes the bad taste out of your mouth especially from Rise of Skywalker. And I think that was why I was so hesitant to watch it, because I was still on that train of ugh from that film. This story is following the Mando as he's trying to find where the child should go. He's trying to find Jedi, other beings like him. All the while, he's going on these different little adventures in each episode. And this season really follows, so far, the layout of a video game in the terms of Hey, you've got to go here. Once he gets there, he's like, hey, I'm looking for someone. Well, I think I know the idea you're thinking of, but you need to help me with something. So he's just on this internal side quest array before he can actually get to the main quest. Funny enough, though, that actually doesn't bother me. It's very akin to that of the Clone Wars animated series in terms of each story was a one-off, but they were always fun. And every story in the first four episodes is fun. I loved seeing Timothy Oliphant as what you thought was Boba Fett and him taking on that uh, that Sarlacc King or the whatever the big giant snake thingy. That was awesome and the production value of that was incredible. I couldn't believe how good the creature looked and when they started flying and shooting at it I thought holy crap this just keeps getting better. Then the second episode where they go into that ice planet that was such a great space chase followed by a fantastic battle with weird cosmic spider things which creeped the shit out of me but it was super super cool and then the third episode where they meet bo katan from the clone wars series again played by katie stackoff and I like how that episode also talked a little bit more about the division of the Mandalorian creed and how there are some who follow the very, very old ways, whereas she is actually the, kind of the heir to the throne of Mandalore and she's trying to get it back, but she also has adjusted to times. There's also that really great fight scene on the spaceship and the, the Titus actor, the guy from Bosk, He's just in it for, well, like 10 minutes, but he's still a pretty cool villain in that episode. Everything is so fun. And then the fourth episode that was directed by Carl Weathers. So bizarrely weirded out that Carl Weathers directed that episode. It does explain why so much of it is on him through that whole chase scene. And I do like how there's mystery in each episode. The theme song is continuously overplayed, but it doesn't matter because it's such a good theme song. I feel that this is just the start of something great. Like, they have touched on the story just so lightly that you are still engaged, but enough that there's still so much mystery to be had with this season. And I enjoy it so much. I think that it definitely has a much faster pace than that of the first season. It doesn't have as much of a buildup as like a, a heavy story influence as the first season did, but again, they're going off of what Dave Fioni help make so prominent with the Clone Wars in terms of how the stories are structured. Just fantastic, fantastic dedication and love to what Star Wars is. I'm actually enjoying the episodes immensely. There were so many different internet memes that were coming at me. The guy in the hallway, Yoda eating the eggs, which by the way, what, what was the rage about that? They're fake eggs of a fake species in a fake story in a fake universe. We can disassociate from that, right? It's a joke. It's supposed to be a joke. How did any of you get triggered by that? You need bigger priorities in life. Why didn't you get all mad when they're all started to kill all the spiders? Like, hey, that's a species. Oh, they're entrenching on their territory. Why didn't you get mad about that? But so far, I would definitely say that Mando Season 2 is looking to be a better 
version of season one. While the story, again, is not as heavy so far, it's just tapping into that Star Wars lore so hard. It's even tapping into Legends. And then the freaking bombshell that they drop at the end of the first episode. Such a cool Easter egg. While I think it's probably who I think it is, it could also be someone else. It could be someone else from the Clone Wars. Maybe. I don't think so, but I'm leaving it open to interpretation. I'm willing to be surprised. But either way, I would definitely say that the first four episodes of Mandalorian are fantastic so far. They're all solid five out of sevens, I guess, if I were to say anything. Five, six out of sevens. They're just very enjoyable. The production value is incredible. The action is very, very good. The pacing throughout every episode is pretty fun. It's just a very, very enjoyable Star Wars experience, and that's something that we haven't had in a while. So I would definitely say check it out and then, like, you know, cool down on the egg thing, I guess. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will start to review each individual episode from here on out because this is going to be fun and I kind of want to watch Supernatural out of my mouth. Anyways, that's all from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.